So, Mr. Khan Khan and Elegant are here too. Uh, so we actually, you know, potentially see a lot of really good stuff in the Luigi and teams today because Elegant's actually teaming with Abadongo here. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to get the the orders right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Then subtract and then add you back in. Yeah, I yeah. think we're good now. Oh, Yoshi. Oh, hmm. Spanky's playing. Oh, okay, I thought I, saw uh, I thought for a second too. Like, they're they're like faking us out on the commentary, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, and they're both Pokemon Spanky's battle. Pokemon Team Yo, which is Mr. Khan Khan and Sweet T, and then Red Team Spanky and Fonzie. Yoshi Pokemon trainer versus Luigi Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Yoshi actually got some really good buffs in comparison to Smash 4 in this game. He's actually a really solid character. We're mm -hmm. starting to see a lot of Yoshi men get decent results. Yeah. Well, Seth, uh, Suarez, Raptor. Mm -hmm. All the Yoshis are coming out, man. Yeah. And you know how much people hate fighting Yoshi. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, we got the Squirrel battles going on. Yeah, lots of chaos so far. Lots. I mean, all, all of these characters are kind of ones that, like, as soon as you get a hit, you're going to get blown up really hard. So, oh! oh! <laughs> like, right there. That was pretty crazy. Damn. Man, Kong Kong got too greedy off stage and immediately just got spiked for his troubles. Mm -hmm. And that's what you would never want to get deal with as Yoshi. That forward air is incredibly powerful. I think he died at, like, he died at sub 50, but there's the upbeat. That's going to be even more dangerous in teams because even if he whiffs, his partner can just hit him. Before he gets a hard punish. Yeah. Uh, already going in with a double kill. He Kong Kong gets his revenge for that early fare on himself. Uh, switching to the Charizard here. Yeah, I actually like the Charizard switch because he'll live a little bit longer and like his uh, his kill potential is much higher. Mm -hmm. Plus, if he has the power of like Luigi grows, he can get some pretty easy follow-ups. But there's an edge guard. Wow, he took all the jumps from the fire breath. Yeah. There's another up B. Up oh, counter at two now. The kill potential of Luigi is crazy. Kong Kong cuts that combo short, seeing the team trying to intercept it. Really mm -hmm. good stuff. Yeah, I like how Kong Kong is starting off with the combo, you know, the zero to death combo, and then he runs away and then lets uh, either Sweet Tea finish it or his teammate tries to come in and then uh, they, he saves him. But usually Kong Kong is able to get some kind of follow up or allow his teammate to follow up afterwards, too. Yeah, like, even if you don't get the kill. Oh my, oh my god. Another one. Three for three already. Yeah. That's four, four for four! four. <laughs> Oh my goodness, get sure you can out of your life, dude. That was crazy. Big hip, big answer. Oh, he wasn't ready for that team follow. This yeah. is so much percent. Mm -hmm. Sweet Tea wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do there. He wanted to go for the back throw offstage, but oh, yeah. The bullet seed? I heard uh, apparently Ned said that uh, bullet seed out of shield is really good now, so. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I think bullet seed actually was adjusted in the previous patch, too. Mm -hmm. Easier to hit or something like that, so. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, I think Kong Kong might be just fishing for the, the up E. He wants 5 for 5, maybe? Yeah, he's got, he got in every attempt of it so far. He hasn't missed a, a single one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charlie really going so hard off stage against each other. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong Ivy story. <laughs> yeah, he's just hunting, man. He's looking for it. Yeah. They can easily end this stock in like a million other ways, I and mean, you can just f I can just feel Kong Kong. He wants some kind of style. Yeah, Kong Kong really plays for like the crowd a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he likes the hype plays, but there's the down smash. Close yeah, it out. There Easy we go. Peasy. Damn, I really missed the joke a joke opportunity with the Wendy's four for four there. <laughs> yeah. When we said four to four, damn. <laughs> it's a. Uh, if I'm correct, I think the B is easier to connect in this game because like if he hits his shield. He can turn around uh, the up B and it'll like automatically like sweet spot. What? Like, say, yeah, like say like someone hits him and he crosses up his shield, he can just turn around up B and it'll get the sweet spot. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why he's, he gets him more, even more consistently in this game. Oh, like, he was, okay. He was already really good at getting it before, like in Smash 4, but like it's even easier to hit the up B now. So that's just an insanely powerful like, kill option to have, especially in teams. Mm -hmm. Right. Alrighty, here we go though. Let's see what stage we're going to. I feel like... <laughs> I wonder what Spanky is telling Fonzie. Like, don't get hit by up that much <laughs> as much. Honestly, he, he can take that advice for himself, too. Because he definitely died to up as well. Yeah, I think the problem is, like, if, if what you said was true. Um, I mean, Yoshi likes to cross up with aerials because he has so much movement. But then, yeah, it would it would just lead to an up if Kong Kong's ready for it. Yeah. It looks like he's always fishing it out, so... I think they have to be careful on how they approach Kong Kong especially, or they just focus on Sweet Tea instead. Yeah. Anything to get like easier 2v1s will be good for them right now. Alrighty, let's see here. Three, two, one, 
into Smashville. Let's see what happens here for the red team. Let's see if they can turn it around here. Still a lot of early percent chaos. Yeah. As soon as the match starts, that's when you, everyone's like scrambling for stage control and just mashing all these hitboxes. <laughs> yeah. It takes a like around a minute or two to, for everyone to get settled on where they're going to play on the stage. Yeah. Well, you got both of the red team off stage though. Big opportunity coming in. Oh, I like oh! that <laughs> choice of the board seed into the LB and getting a down air spike immediately after a thing. Yellow team immediately just set the tone for the match. Like, as soon as it started, that was crazy. Yeah, that was very nice. Man, I didn't realize that Luigi's aerial up B was so powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've seen even elegant combo from down throw into it, and it kills at, like, 70, 80. So, yeah, wow. it's a pretty crazy move sometimes. Yellow team still hanging on to their first life, and any tacked on damage extra is just going to be extremely great for yellow team right here. Oh, yeah. This Bengi gets the Ivy Source stock out of there. Still has to deal with Con Con, though. And uh, Kangon's looking very comfortable doing it in the 1v1. Tries to go for the up B, missing it for the first time. Yeah, he doesn't. He didn't get the B reverse, so he hit the wrong side of him. So he's only going to get that uh, small hitbox. Oh, oh but man, a directional no air dodge. Oh, yeah, he got the coin up B, and he thought he would have to tech the stage, so he buffered an air dodge. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, and I think he's already on his last stock. Okay, really misfire. Kangon gets a little lucky there. Still on his uh, first life, actually. After that... Very early stock Ooh, from Fonzie. He hasn't been, uh, he hasn't lost his stock since. Oh, barely living that back there though. Still off stage again. No punish on the flare bits, but he's in a really rough spot. See, look how huge the egg was. Oh, his team killed him with the egg lay. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's unfortunate. Everything's falling apart for the red team right now. Yeah, poor Fonzie. Alrighty, what's the sitch? Oh my goodness. He's oh, he almost got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, Kangan's gonna go out there with the SD. Last stock. This is a really rough comeback to make. Charger's living for a very long time. Okay, well let's see what he can do. He can he can take off the stock off Charizard and then get an early edge guard on Kong Kong. And we still got hope. He, he just has I to mean, not get touched. Yeah, it's not impossible. It's just very difficult. Yeah. Oh my god, this guy's smashing <laughs> He's yeah. trying to bait him with the invincibility on the cyclone, I guess. Mm-hmm. At least they patch it out where it's not invincible the whole time if you rise up a little bit when you do it. Oh! Almost dying to his own partner's square bits, but there's the forward air. Get him out of here. Yep. Scratch is going to do it. And yeah, we just uh, close out there with a 2 0. -oh. Sweet T and Kanka moving on. Yeah, really clean stuff, man. Their team combos were definitely on point. I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that bullet seed into the upbeat was super cool. I, I, I did not realize they could go for something like that, but yeah, the bullet seed locks them in place for quite a long time, so being able to find something that can kill off of that is really good. Yeah. Yeah, so we're seeing. Uh, I know people like to say that doubles is pretty chaotic, which it was for the beginning. But then I think the you're, you're starting to see like the conversions and the and like the retaining of stage control is very uh, prominent in this game. So good stuff all overall. We're getting some pretty good double sets. So yeah. we're just gonna be waiting on our next one here. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I think as people getting better at the game, the quality of doubles play is just getting uh, better and better. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you can argue about that in uh, singles too. We gotta remember that our and meta is only six months old. Yeah. Especially when trying to compare it to like a four-year-old Smash Four meta. Like, I think the game's gonna get even crazier as time goes on. Oh yeah, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Because yeah, I, even like people say like for ultimate, it's like oh, it's just like trying to hit each other, like or like make guesses or whatever. Right, but then right. down in Smash Four, everyone's like oh, it's just down throw combos or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely it can definitely change over time too. So. All right. Once people get more and more comfortable with the speed of the game and like polishing their punishes. I think the way we see the game will definitely change. So, mm -hmm. so uh, who do you who do you have for the tournament today? Who do you have winning the tournament? Common man. Common man, yeah. Me yeah too. He won yesterday too. Yeah. Pretty convincingly for the most part. And he's got a lot of characters to cover his uh, bat matchups that he doesn't like. So I wanted I was curious like he's like oh, damn he won he won a whole S tier in Japan. Yeah. And then like I saw his play and I'm like oh wow yeah he was pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's a uh, the, the game Ultimate has buffed Kame so much outside of Sheik, but like his Wario was really good in 4, mm -hmm. and his Mega Man was really good in 4, and they just buffed them in this game. So he just got to play like two characters he's already familiar with, with an even better version. So yeah. That's so I, he even plays Yoshi too, mm -hmm. so that's another character. That yeah, I mean, we literally had no one defending us for Team uh, Japan yesterday except Nico. Yeah. <laughs> that, was the only, that was the only rough one. And Nico made it all the way to fourth place yesterday at the, oh. at the kickoff, but. Uh, oh, the only other person I think added in is like, uh, I think it's Void, right? No. Uh, so Larry, uh, Eon, Charlie, Elegant, 
all some really good players are here today too. Child but but are they are they as good as Team Japan? That's the question. Because we'll see. Te because Team Japan has been kind of like rocking us. Every time they come in, they've kind of just oh kinda yeah, especially at Prime Saga. Yeah, it's like top <laughs> two Zach Ray shoot time. Mm hmm. That was that was uh, rough. But anyway, speaking of, we got Team Japan. In it looks doubles. like Sue and Kamehameha are coming oh, up to the stage right now. That sounds like such a scary team. Mm -hmm. Lucario, best Lucario in doubles. Like Lucario gets that aura buff from uh, being down in stocks and percent, so he's really good in teams overall. And you just have Kamehameha, who's just an amazing teams player in general, yep. who can play like a bunch of different characters. I think Wario Lucario it sounds insanely good. Mm -hmm. That kill potential with like Waft coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds really crazy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they use Joker though, because people have been saying that Joker is a good oh, character. Oh yeah, Joker's in also too. a really amazing doubles character. Yeah, but, uh, Sue's Joker is really good too. Mm -hmm. Because Probably. it's like if like if your teammate takes damage and Arsene also fills up, like that's pretty crazy, you know? Yeah. So he can just get Arsene like for for free, and if you pair that with Lucario, oh, <laughs> that yeah. sounds so crazy, dude. Well, I don't think Kame plays Joker. Like Sue plays Joker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe he does. Like yeah. I mean, been playing it, a lot of characters. Yeah, if Kamehameha played Joker, like combined with Lucario, that sounds broken. <laughs> that sounds really good. But we'll see. I imagine they're like one of the top seeded teams in the tournament, if not. I like, imagine, the top yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what first place and third place at the the kickoff yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, and there's only 26 teams, so. 26 teams, most of them are pretty good players. It's going to be stacked. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you say you got Kame winning today. I want to believe in Larry. You want to believe in Larry? Yeah. I, I want to believe in Larry's. This is the one. I want to believe in Larry, Larry too, but just the other day he was double three stocked by Nitro, so I don't know how I yeah. feel about See, that. Yeah. See, that right was now. just a warm up. Uh huh. Know? Yeah. So uh huh. <laughs> he, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so he, as long as he doesn't run into any Richters. As long as he doesn't run into Richter. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, looks like they were on the wrong stream, so that's not his opponent. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta yeah, wait. We gotta, we gotta be, wait we gotta a bit be, more. Alrighty. Yeah, it would be great to see Larry win for SoCal. But I, I feel like outside of Void, we still have a lot of our good players here. Mm -hmm. Like, Eon's really good. Charlie's really good. I feel like Charlie can upset anyone. Yeah. I, I, like, the potential for upsets are there. It's yeah. just that, will it happen today? <laughs> or, like, in this in this tournament, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just see. I'm going to get the upset on Leffen later oh, on. Yeah, yeah because Dude, he's <laughs> he, he probably will. I don't know. I, I think Leffen's, like, so-so about competing. I think if he really wanted to focus on Melee, he would probably, like, not play ultimate but he's also already qualified for summit so i don't know why he would drop out of ultimate. Uh, yeah he would uh he, he would want to uh ruin other people's chances of getting into summit maybe no zd kind of did that when he put yeah tweaking dude, the losers uh, ultimate i was Nimbus. so yeah. salty dude i wanted to tweak the order uh, summit ultimate summit so bad and then he just got eliminated by zd who is yeah. already qualified I was, yeah i was like damn zd actually like <laughs> But it always altered I was, the competition. I was happy that Stroder beat Tweak, though. That was a really good win. Yeah. Stroder's not here today, but uh, he's another player that's, like, really, really, really mm -hmm. good in yeah. this game. Mm -hmm. Usually Stroder shows up to the events, but I think he's been traveling a lot more. Mm. So I think I know he just went to uh, a tournament in Washington. and He's actually at uh, the Utah tournament today. Oh, Crown? Yeah. Oh, okay, he's okay. He's there with a bunch of other good players. Mm -hmm. All righty. Man, these guys are taking a while. Yeah. Do they know they're on stream? Yeah. They're just <laughs> waiting for their pool captain. Oh, that's got time to kill. Mm -hmm. Alright, Count Chief is here to save the day. And he is telling them oh. to not play. Looks like. Yeah, they're unplugging their stuff. Alrighty. Then we're going to get a different match underway, it looks okay. like. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do? Mm -hmm. Man. One thing I... I think the stream earner wants to tell us something. Oh, we, we, we don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Alrighty. No problemo. Okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's like I said, 26 teams. So there's a bunch of people we have to go through anyway. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot to see. And uh, Ultimate's already pretty, like, balanced and, like, variety in singles but doubles just shows a little bit more uh that than uh singles as far as the character viability goes yeah 
I think that's always the case, but uh, I think the the team comp is always one of those things. I like I like how in this meta there's not like a use absolutely use this character right now or else your team is like not gonna do well. Yeah. Which was Cloud in Smash Four. Yeah. It yeah, definitely yeah. doesn't seem like that. So. Yeah. I I don't know. I, I kind of also towards the end of Smash Four doubles, I kind of still felt that there was a lot of unexplored teams that were really strong. Just because there was people like Strider and Elegant doing really well with freaking like Greninja Luigi against all these like double cloud teams. Yeah, I think uh, the I think that game was uh, cut off a little bit too soon. Yeah. But you know, we got ultimate now, so yeah. I, I think they're both great games personally. I yeah. think it just uh, depends on what you look for. I think definitely ultimate might be a little bit better <laughs> for competitors oh, like, in terms sure. of consistency and stuff like that. So yeah, I really appreciate ultimate for that because it's like all the good players from Smash Four just like went to the new game. So it's kind of like a continuation of like the top level of Smash Four for mm -hmm. the most part. Yeah, missing zero though. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we we need zero back, man. Okay, now we're waiting for another match, and Nate uh, Nate is like yelling uh, at <laughs> <laughs> Nate is yelling at Juan. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. Alrighty. <laughs> well, I, I mean we get to practice our stalling capabilities yeah. right now. So like if you if commentators had stats, there's yeah. one right at the bottom <laughs> for stalling. That is like nine nine to ten nine or like I'm at like a three or four right now. Yeah, <laughs> so sorry. that was that's probably well, one of the harder wish, ones to do. I wish we had more things to show like <laughs> like yeah, so I mean I mean I I mean we can show this these uh, very nice badges that oh, shout us to yeah, Sin for making them. I got a staff one, but they, there's like different designs. So you should just follow her on Twitter too. She makes some really nice stuff for Two GG, and like she this made overlay. Yeah, that she made like she was actually updating it last night. Mm -hmm, yeah, so there's supposed to be like a shine animation on some of the overlays, but we'll, we'll see it later. Yeah, we'll probably see it later. Yeah, the venue's popping right now. And, you know, I think the, I mean, every 2G event in the La Mirada Hotel always is, like, popping. It's always got, like, a bunch of people and stuff mm. like that, so. Yeah. Oh, my God. Con, oh. Con, Con Con went to go. Oh, eat. my <laughs> goodness. Of course, man. The stall master himself, dude. Yeah, the momentum cancel, man. Dude, he, he, so, people talk about Wizzy stalling in Melee, but I think Con Con's up there, too, man. Like, this is a guy that, like, he's on stream, right? And then he wins the first game. Then he needs to like go to the bathroom, buy like three energy drinks. No, he and then <laughs> he has to do some hand stretches. And no, yeah, stretches. legit. He'll like win a game, and he's like, "Let's go, let's go." Let's yeah, go. and then he like runs a lap around the venue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he's like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you? Why are you icing yeah, yourself? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just, just like, why? <laughs> why do you like this, man? <laughs> yeah. So that that's why we had a delay. Kakon had to go to the snack bar, you know, after getting those combos on stream. Mm -hmm. You know, he had to refill his uh, his. His tank there, I guess. I yep. don't know. Alrighty. We got Corn Master and Drake. Corn Dra 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 D